I was very pleased to discover last night that one of my black mollies is indeed a male. And this was very surprising to me as this male is well over two inches long. Well, probably two inches, not counting the caudal fin. I'm not interested in breeding mollies at this point, so I removed him to the 120 gallon tank, and he's still a bit skittish, having only been in here for well, less than 24 hours. I've fed the tank several times since then, haven't seen him eat yet. I don't believe he will devour many of the Colombian tetra. Well, he might eat fry, but uh, eggs should be in the gravel where he can't get to them. So, if I do a gravel vacuum, I should be able to retrieve the eggs from the gravel and put them into the fry starter tank. However, the, uh, the fry in that tank are getting to where they'll probably soon be big enough to devour newly hatched fry or newly free swimming fry once they absorb the yolk sac. So I am in a bit of a quandary. I have three small black mollies in my bedroom tank. I'm considering introducing them into this tank to sort of give this molly some company. He's, he's unlikely to inseminate them at this age. But I do want to avoid breeding, particularly between siblings. It's probably not as big an issue as it is with guppies, but since mollies are in the Pocelia family, inbreeding might tend to cause problems. So hopefully he will... Well, I'm trying to keep that with him on camera, but he's only making brief appearances outside of the decorations. But at any rate, hopefully this will work out for the best. Won't lose too many fry or eggs and he'll calm down and one way or the other enjoy this somewhat larger tank than the one he was in.